Welcome back and we move next here tonight to the pandemic and its very real consequence for local families. A Winter Haven woman hospitalized with COVID-19 beats the virus and comes home. But when she walked through the door, she encountered something she never expected. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King here with the story. It was just like walking into a horror scene. It's just been horrible. 58 year old Lisa Stedman thought she was through the worst of it. She and her husband, Ron, both got diagnosed with COVID-19 in early August. I was in the hospital for eight days. Every day I talked to him. Ron was never hospitalized, but instead was home taking care of the dogs while Lisa was gone. On Sunday, when I talked to him, he told me his phone was acting up, that it wouldn't hold a charge. I said, OK, well, then Monday came. I couldn't get a hold of him. So I called the police, Winter Haven Police Department, said, could they do a wellness check? They came out, did a wellness check, talked to him. But sometime between then and when Lisa left the hospital Wednesday evening, things took a turn for the worst. But I could hear our little dogs. They were all in the bedroom together, the dogs and him. I rolled to the bedroom door. I opened the door and he was on the bed, passed away. Ron died from COVID related complications. He always wore his mask. He always used his hand sanitizer. Lisa says neither of them had received a COVID-19 vaccine, not because they were against it, only because they wanted to wait. Now, after talking with her doctor and dealing with the virus firsthand, her mind has changed. I said that when I got better, because I can't take it till the end of September, that I would get the shot. Now she shares her message to everyone else. And remember, you are not promised tomorrow, so you better make sure you tell your loved ones you love them. McKenna King, ABC Action News.